Okay, good evening everybody. My name is Han. Uh, thank you for the organizing committee of the Optics and Photonics International Congr Congress uh, 2020. Um, here, is the here is the topic of my presentation. Highly efficient Elgan UVB LEDs using aluminum graded magnesium dot P type multi-quantum barrier electron blocking layer. Um, in this presentation, I will try to, to share with you people the new result, some applications. Um, here is the, the complete outline of today's presentation. Here is the application of the UVA, UVB, UVC LEDs. Um, and uh, first I would like to introduce the, the Algan graded multi-quantum barrier electron blocking layer um, and then the influence of the N-Algan buffer layer thickness on the, on the IQE. So, and uh, there will be another problem of the, I would talk briefly, influence of the both relaxed Algan buffer layer and uh, simultaneously Algan multi-quantum barrier for the high efficient UV LED. Then I will talk about future challenges and uh, summarize my talk. Uh, you know, we need a strong efforts uh, to combat the growth and expansion of the coronavirus, which is the virus that causes infections uh, and uh, ubiquitous. And ultraviolet light can kill the coronavirus. Uh, according to the National uh, Health Commissions of China, indoor spaces should be disinfected with UV light with intensity of 1.5 volts per square meter. So it's very interesting, but the, most of the UV light sources is based on mercury lamp, which is toxic. But anyway, uh, UV lamp can uh, disinfect objects within one meter for at least half an hour and can be used in quarantine center, houses, buses, hospital, kitchen, and aeroplane. So here is one example of the bus. You can, if the bus is uh, come across to the, the, the coronavirus infected area, you can clean through the UV light like this. And the most importantly is this uh, autonomous robot, uh, which can clean uh, the areas at the hospital. This is a structure. But you can see the, the, the size is very big and it is based on the toxic mercury lamp. So we need a, a smart and small size um, UV light sources. Um, why this big light source is not good, which is based on the toxic mercury lamp, because methyl mercury was discharged into Minamata Bay in 1950. And due to mercury poisoning, many human losses were occurred, and many were disabled, here is the example. And um, by using the uh, incandescence and fluorescence lamps, so we can increase the CO2 emission. For instance, uh, light lightening of just one room in every house with LEDs instead of uh, incandescence and fluorescence lamp, a CO2 emission can be reduced by 1 billion tons per year. So it's very interesting. Uh, based on those mot motivation, um, we have a good choice um, and we need environmentally safe, smart, low cost UV LEDs, laser diodes in line with the 17 sustainable goals of United Nations. Um, and also Minamata Convention of 2020. Algan materials on aluminum nitride template is one of the good solutions to, to, to face these challenges. So uh, let me start the, our research work at RIKIN. Uh, I told you in my outline that the, previously we, we got the, uh, uh, the EQE of 5.6 percent from our LED devices. So the LED devices structure is shown here. Here's the energy band diagram. Here's the N side, N aldan electron, electron uh, injection layer, and here's the P side of the of the uh, UEB LED to complete PN junction. This is the active region quantum well. Previously, we used in this final barrier very low aluminium, so the electron blocking was not enough. To, 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 to radiate uh, in the quantum well. So we, uh, we enhance the uh, potential barrier height of the final barrier 
with this, uh, we got, we improved the result uh, in QU 5.6 percent and light power of 17 milliwatt under 80 milliamps. And uh, this is not the only story that we, we change this, but we use a very good crystalline quality in the electron injection layer. Uh, we measure by the XRD rocking curve, where the 002 reflection in 102 is given. So very nice, uh, uh, low dislocation, density-based uh, N-algon layer was achieved. Um, but we need high power, as I mentioned. So then, very recently, we introduced, um, previously, as I told you, we used uh, the, the electron blocking layer was a flat. We used a uniform aluminum composition in the algon layer, in P-algon. But here we introduce, um, in this area, which is a graded layer, which is the aluminiums, we, 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 we use a distributed aluminum graded to, re, to realize polarization effect in the device structure. With this structure, with this new structure, and here is the SIMS measurement data of the uh, aluminum and gallium composition. So, so if you look at the electron blocking layer, the first blocking layer, aluminum was the highest, and the second was a little lower, and then subsequently we got this graded layer blocking. With this new architecture, we, we tried to make a LED device, um, we improve our uh, EQE from 5.6% to 8% with the light power of 38 milliwatts. Previously it was 17 milliwatts, but we moved to 38 milliwatts. It was very good news. Uh, but in this EQE, we use a small size of uh, chip, 350 by 350 micro, micrometer square area. But when we use a big, big size, we got, of course, very high light output power of 43 milliwatts, but EQE was slightly reduced from 8 uh, from eight percent to, to almost 5.5 percent. Next, we, 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 we try to improve the performance a little more to, to, uh, to, uh, to be used for many challenging applications like corona, to kill the coronavirus, or for some other medical application like to cure cancer. So we still continue, and uh, but in this part, we 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 did a bit tricky uh, research work. Previously, we used a very thin buffer layer of the N-algon buffer layer, which was 1.7 micrometer. But in this case, we used a thicker, like four micron buffer layer. So it was. Uh, I will talk about that work. So here is the PL intensity photoluminescence. Uh, from the algon layer, and here is the thickness layer. As the thickness increases, the, the PL intensity increases, but of course it's 5 micron, we, we got very high PL intensity, but we've, we have one problem with surface. We found some uh, cracks, so we found that this, this part is our most optimized buffer layer. By using this uh, structure, um, we make uh, the quantum well structure on the ore layer, so this is the buffer layer, four micron, and the 20 nanometer electron injection layer. And uh, finally, we make a quantum, three quantum well structure on the top. With this new structure, we got IQE of 54%. And um, this was the highest value uh, ever achieved at Ricking, uh, as far as I know. And this values of the IQ uh, reflects the, the uh, dislocation density in the order of 10 to the power 8 per cubic per centimeter square. So it's very good because probably the, the uh, thick layer uh, does affect the piezoelectricity in the quantum well. So based on this new structure, we, we make a new device. We moved from our uh, flat type of multi-quantum barrier electron blocking layer, this. In this case, we didn't change any aluminum variation, but here we change the aluminum graded layer in this new structure. And also, of course, we use a thick um, um, N-algon buffer layer. So with these two changes, and of course, uh, we also used a very thin uh, nickel aluminum uh, P-type electrode, which is highly reflective. 
based on this new structure, we, we successfully got 9.3% EQE, which is, as far as I know, is the world record. And uh, the uh, light output power was 3 milliwatts under 10 milliamps under CV operation by using the small size P electrode. But for the big size, we got more than 40% milliwatt, and the EQE also um, exceeds 70%. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so this is not the whole story, and um, we're still struggling to improve our result. In our in all our devices, I we believe that the the whole injection from the P side to the quantum well is not enough. So because the whole density for the UVB LED or laser diode, we need a two tennis power. 16 per cubic centimeter. So for this, for that purpose, we introduce a new device structure. Here is the uh, the sapphire substrate and aluminum nitride uh, template for micron, and then PL gun graded layer from 60 percent to 10 percent. We change the layer in this layer. With this layer, with the first time it can we could measure the whole concentration to. 2.6 tennis per 16 per cubic centimeter with very low resistivity 20, 22 ohm centimeter in aluminum alloy graded polarized PL gun hole injection layer. So this 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 measurement were performed at room temperature. So this is one of the good data. So with this uh, in future we hope with this new layer we can further improve our device performance. And here is the summary of the result. We got IQU 54%, EQE 9.1%, with light output power of 42 milliwatts. And this is the probably the uh, world record data. And the next target is to struggle for the Algan-based UV laser. And thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>